growing discord, the Senate Foreign Relations Committee held an August 4 hearing on the Taiwan Security Enhancement Act, which would authorize the United States to supply Taiwan with advanced weapons capabilities to counter any Chinese aggression. The Chinese Communist Party might act aggressively against Taiwan as the United States prepares to sell seven different weapons systems to the self-ruled Ireland. Chinese President Xi Jinping's visit to maritime ports in Zhejiang, China, raised eyebrows among China watchers. Some have said that Xi conducted the trip to signal China's displeasure for the United States' plans to sell weapons to Taiwan. The reason being that, the province is home to the East Sea Fleet, which would figure prominently in any blockade or even invasion of Taiwan. A blockade or invasion is unlikely, but should not be dismissed as alarmist, Beijing has never renounced the use of force against Taiwan, and the People's Liberation Army has behaved provocatively over the past few months. As China's economic performance weakens and unemployment rises, the CCP might become desperate for non-economic legitimation namely, a political victory on the issue of Taiwan. The CCP has always had the motive to coerce Taiwan, but it might regard the chaos of the pandemic as a unique opportunity to secure its objectives. While the U.S. and Japanese militaries retain fearsome capabilities, the U.S. and Japanese responses to the coronavirus have been unimpressive, and several key military assets would not operate at full capacity for weeks, possibly months. The end of monsoon season opens a window of attack across the Taiwan Strait. Taiwan can counteract the CCP's attempts to coerce it. Communications between the central government and local authorities could be affected by Chinese cyber capabilities, so Taiwan should prepare for distributed governance and consider diffusing stores of food, seeds, weapons, and vehicle fuel across the nation. Taiwan's friends in Washington, Tokyo, and beyond should work with Taipei to immediately supply it with weapons, food and fuel. Simultaneously, all sides must acknowledge the sensitivities of the Taiwan issue. Washington and Taipei should strike a responsible equilibrium, they should substantively strengthen Taiwan's defenses, but without unnecessary symbolism, which could provoke Beijing. Publicizing any arms sales or transfers would likely decrease rather than enhance Taiwan's security. The CCP is not likely to invade Taiwan. It would likely fail in the attempt, and even a successful invasion would seriously threaten economic and social stability in China, potentially leading to the CCP's collapse. However, the probability that the CCP would attempt to coerce Taiwan is rising, and Taipei and its friends should calmly address risks together and prepare for difficult weeks ahead. Thank you for watching.